This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Welcome back to Future Stars. We've got a Morris medalist on the panel, a Brownlow medalist on the panel, and now we have a JJ Liston Trophy medalist winner on the panel as we welcome Kane Lambert, mate. Uh, congratulations on your performance yesterday, the best game of your career, but uh, just didn't get over the line at the end of the day. Yeah, thanks very much for having me. Um, yeah, it was disappointing just to, to fall short. Uh, but we'll review it during the week and move on for uh, Hawthorne next Friday night. Probably the better team on the day, quite comfortably. Um, nine more inside 50s, you had 18 more contested possessions. Um, that man there was pretty good, again, for a young player, but uh, certainly it was one that got away for a top four spot. Yeah, definitely. We um, yeah, were pretty happy with a few different areas, but you know the reality was we didn't kick straight. We kicked uh, 18 points. I think we hit the post six times. Uh, you, know, you can't do that against quality sides like Fremantle. And we have to ask you about the uh, the kick out at the end of the, uh, the game, the bailout kick down the, uh, the middle of the ground. We just sort of saw the, the vision there. The main thing I want to know about it, we've heard Basher speak about it this morning already. Uh, how is that sort of reviewed? Is it reviewed straight after the game? Do you have to wait till Monday to go through the processes of how that's reviewed? Yeah, look, we, we spoke about a whole different moments throughout the game that we probably didn't execute the way we wanted. Um, but we'll go through the review on Monday in depth and uh, you know we'll learn from it and hopefully get better. I just want to know, uh, take us through your journey. You've obviously done it the hard way, off the rookie list. You played a few years in the VFL. Uh, I think there was a controversial move from the, uh, in, to Williamstown yep. as well. What's your uh, motiva motivation levels like from doing it the hard way? Matthew Boyd was one who came off the rookie list, almost played with a chip on his shoulder to prove people wrong. Is that how you're thinking? Yeah, definitely. And You, you come into the club and I suppose you feel like uh, the time bomb's ticking a little bit and you just got to do everything possible. And, um, you know, I'm enjoying my time at Richmond and extremely grateful for the opportunity as well. Now, Kane, we'll pick up that part of the journey because I remember a phone call. I reckon that's now six years ago, and the phone call was from Dennis Pagan. People might forget he did coach one year in the TAC Cup, and he was talking about you. He said, give this boy a go. He, you'd won the best and fairest. You're in the team of the year, and you weren't invited to, for the testing. And Dennis is saying he can play. He's like an Anthony Stevens was his view. And he's telling every club that would listen about that. Uh, tell us about your relationship with Dennis Pagan. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it's about six years ago now he coached me, but um, we're still in contact. Um, you know, he's been great for my footy and he's always there uh, to help me out and um, like I said, he, he'll give me a call, I'll give him a call just to, just to touch base and um, you know, I'm grateful for what he's done for me behind the scenes as well. Oh, there's some great stories at uh, Richmond at the moment, in similar to you. Obviously, Nathan Gordon, uh, McIntosh, and also Miles. They've all done it the hard way, like Coon said, off the rookie list. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good breeding ground. It is, yeah. And all those players are quality players. And, you know, they're all determined to get better as well. And, um, you know, we, we drive ourselves as a group. And, um, you know, it's a good place to be at the moment. Why didn't you get uh, drafted initially? What did the recruiters say to you? Um, I didn't have too much contact with the recruiters. I think... Um, Possibly, I just didn't have what they were after, and um, you know, they probably could have found players similar to me. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought if I kept knocking on the door, eventually it opened. Um, and, and this year, I was fortunate enough to get that opportunity. Well, I was there at the time because my son was playing the same team as Kane, so I used to go along to every game and couldn't believe when he didn't get drafted. I thought he would. You, you took a, a year off, then went to the VFL. Well, it won the best and fairest um, at the Northern Blues by 100 votes. 100 votes better than the next best player. Still didn't get an opportunity. He then went to Williamstown, which Adam spoke about, uh, played a really good finals series there last year. Do you think that was part of the, the last part of the jigsaw puzzle to actually get clubs to pick you up? Because we saw Isaac Smith uh, get picked up through uh, playing good finals as well a couple of years before. Yeah, I think so. And, and that was a, a motivation for me to move across there. Um, my, my year started a little bit slow. I had a, had a hip injury. Uh, but to play finals footy and um, you know, play well in those games, I think it did give me a bit of a, a, bit of a push forward in terms of my, um, you know, my draft ability. Now, Kane, uh, we'll call you our money ball player because all the numbers would suggest someone should have picked you just on the numbers, the, the amount of footy you were getting. You'd won the Fothergill Round medal in, two, in, in 2013 as the most promising player in the VFL. It still took another year for someone to give you the rookie list chance. So, uh, just at Willie, was your game changing at all as you matured? Um, yeah, I suppose it was a little bit. Um, Andy Collins was a, was a fantastic coach and, again, another one I still speak to. And uh, he gave me a few different roles, tried to free me up a little bit as well as go head-to-head -head with, uh, you know, good opposition players. But, um, you know, just to be that, that versatility, um, I think that was good for my game. Now, you've got a high number on your back, number 48. Do you go to the club at the end of the year and go, Do I just need something in the single digits? <laughs> oh, probably not, but, um, yeah, I've got the corner locker 
So I just hide away back there, but um, it's, it's a little bit heavy. See so how we go. It's a great story, Brownie. I mean, this one is one of the real stories. And you talk about kids, and this show for us is about guys. Everyone wants to get drafted, but it doesn't always hap happen for everyone. And to be able to persevere and, and keep going and uh, and do what you, you've done, yeah, in all honesty, you must be really proud of your own achievements. Yeah, I am proud, but um, you know, I suppose once you get into the AFL system, um, you know, I'm not happy just being there. I want to, I want to contribute, and you know, hopefully, go on to have a long career. But um, you know, at the moment, I'm just enjoying my footy and um, looking to improve every day. And the prospect of playing finals footy at Richmond, and imagine. MCG, finals time, 80 to 90,000. You might even play Collingwood the first week. Uh, it would make the hairs on your back stand up. Yeah, I suppose. Every other club in the AFL wants to play finals footy. Um, you know, the old cliche, it's one week at a time. We've got a massive challenge against Hawthorne, and, um, you know, we'll look at that this week, and, you know, we won't go any further than that. One player that really stood up for you guys this year in a leadership, I know he missed a goal at the end of the game, but he's played really aggressively this year, took on Nat Fife, and I think his leadership's taken to a new level, Trent Cotchin. Yeah, Trent's fantastic. He's, uh, you know, he's such a good leader, and he, he, everything he does on field just leads by example. And uh, you know, to take on Nat Fife, who's uh, obviously a quality player, um, you know, we, we can't speak highly enough of Trent. Uh, it was your best game yesterday, mate. Uh, congratulations. I think you've got a huge future ahead at Richmond. Thanks for joining us. Nothing.